Overlooking the waters of St. Mark's Basin, the Doge's Palace, a masterpiece of Gothic art, stands before our eyes as the iconic building of the thousand-year-old city of Venice. Founded in the 9th century, it was originally a castle with fortified walls and four corner towers. In the 14th century, the previous architecture was replaced with the stately forms that gave the palace the elegant, simple, and yet imposing aspect that we can admire today in the so-called Gothic block, which houses the great council chamber. Members of the Venetian aristocracy would congregate in this location every Sunday to take part in the plenary assembly. Between the 14th and the 15th centuries, the palace went through several transformations and expansions to reach its current appearance. Three big buildings house and connect the seat of government and state magistrature, the large public halls, the doge's family residence, the magnificent private chapels, the seat of the judicial administration, and even a prison. The Doge's Palace belongs to the Italian state and it was granted in use to the municipality of Venice in 1924. The building today is mainly used as a museum. Since 2008, the management of the museum is under the charge of the Fondazione Musei Civici di Venezia, whose aim is to conserve and promote the site and its art collections through maintenance interventions and cultural activities for the world public. An internal staff made of architects, conservators, restorers, and specialists for technical facilities work daily to monitor the conditions of the important historical and artistic decorations. They study and evaluate environmental and human causes of deterioration to plan new strategies for preventative conservation and maintenance interventions. Let us not forget that the Doge's Palace is currently also a site for temporary exhibitions, often with prestigious international collaborations dedicated to themes linked to the history of Venice and its artists. The magnificent rooms of the Doge's apartments play host to a flexible, expositive display and are the only rooms in the palace equipped with a temporary air conditioning system which allows for the maintenance of optimal climatic conditions for the preservation of the works of art. Our interest in the SenseMat project relates to the primary museum target itself of planning a strategy for preventative conservation of the sensitive architectural decorations inside these rooms, which range from paintings on canvas to stuccos and polychrome carved woods to, from textiles to gilded leathers. We believe that the use of innovative devices, which have a very reduced dimension, remote control, and geo-referencing on a BIM model, could simplify and speed up the daily data collection on critical environmental risk factors, significantly increasing the conservation activities.